It has been over a year since we have filmed at the Cotton Shed. You've never been, bro. Oh, dude. You have? Camera's on me? Camera's on you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Here we are. What's the up? Shed. Are you We're ready? The cotton Shed. Dude, I love this Good place. Things. I've never been here before. This is actually one of the flea markets that it actually takes too long sometimes to go through. After about an hour, you have to kind of pick up the pace because there's so many great booths. Let's go. Let's get started. Hey guys, we found my dude Tyler Tarver's booth. Look at his ugly face. You gotta, you, you, you are that into yourself, bro. You've got to do this. All the cards. I ain't looking at this one. Why, well, mate? You got a lot of stuff, dude. You got a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's nice, but I don't see any Pokemon, and I don't need Poke. Oh, I see one. I see two. I see two. So apparently Michael isn't into retro items. He's into like historic. Dude, it's like some World War II stuff here. Yeah? This is incredible. Wow. I didn't know you were into it. I like yeah. it. I mean, I'm a dad. You have to get into like World War II history or like smoking meats at a certain age. Certain That's what age. you have to do. Usually right around like 32. Yeah. So, like. And you start pulling out the new balances, high socks. Like it's a, it's a Ooh, gradual progression. It is. All right, you're in charge. You're in charge of this. Okay. I'll be cameraman for right now. So you have to make your way through a lot of the crafty booths. Yeah, there's lots lot. and lots of crafty booths, all like this. I don't think we've seen one booth yet with stuff that we might like or dig into. It's just a lot of Southern crafts. I stole my grandma's heart. <laughs> stuff like this. Not quite what we're into. So this is usually a booth that I like. We got a bunch of shirts, vintage shirts. Ooh, whoa, dude, you got a vintage skillet. Nice. Shirt. If you don't know, this is like kind of hardcore, uh, a Christian brand, a Christian band. So there's that. If you can be hardcore in a Christian band, I don't know. Usher, what? So I don't think there's gonna be any way for me to prove this, but I'm fairly certain this Mega Man X uh, little figure has been here ever since I've ever shopped at this um, at this flea market. I'm talking five years, <laughs> and it's still here for 30 bucks. I don't know what this goes for. We'll put up a little uh, sold listing, but uh, it's still here. This price is firm. This is firm. It's going to be here until forever. Uh, I am going to pick up the skillet the Y2K skillet shirt, just because I think it's wild. There was nothing else in there. We found a Garth Brooks. Yeah. A little slim margin. Yeah, that. slim margin on that. Not level. enough, not yeah. enough. Oh, no. So we just said we needed <laughs> one yeah. good Is this it? Oh look, there's some games. We Our first games, our first games. There it is. I'm not making excuses. I've said it was a mistake and I regret it. Woo! Got hot real quick in there. Definitely the most eclectic booth yeah. I think I've ever seen. You got Mountain Dew socks, Cheez-It socks. You got the Oscar Mayer Wiener socks. And then you got a bedpan down here. Bedpan. So, yeah. Nice little Mickey phone. Very vintage. 29 bones, dude. 29 bucks. It's still there. It's all, it's all there. It's not broken. If you needed a landline and a phone, you gotta make you one right there for 30 bucks. All right, always have loved this booth. They have tons of comics and they typically have some pretty cool ones. TMNT, DuckTales, things like that. And a lot of times they'll have the, um, basically like this whole box will be those type or those or whatever. I don't know if I see any right now. You see any cool ones over there? Not yet. So this is my first time to ever find a Johnny Quest toy out and about. Have you ever watched Johnny Quest? Yeah. Johnny Quest was pretty solid back in the day. This is 1995, 96. And yeah, Johnny Quest has some cars over here. We're getting to some stuff that is piquing our interest. Star Trek Collector Series. And then I'm pretty sure this booth over here has some pretty solid stuff. Let's look, let's look. Ooh, I see some standees. What are the, all right, in the comments, you can't cheat. Down in the comments, what are these standees before you see them? I 
am gonna guess something Star Wars? You're off. Bruh. Oh. It's the Manning Brothers. Oh my. <laughs> it's with the King's- For Hawaiian sweet rolls. Queen, King's Hawaiian <laughs> rolls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> if if somebody guessed that and you knew, I know it exactly what that is. The King's Hawaiian Roll standees from Manning Brothers. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Starting lineups, these need to be just thrown away, burned. They don't sell. I've tried to sell them. I actually had a guy give me a whole tub of these. He was like, hey, will you, will you yeah. get? And I was like, I don't want them, man. He's like, I'm going to leave them with you. Thanks. Thanks for a... Uh, Sure. Yeah. <laughs> to go to the dump. Only today's greatest sports heroes make it to starting lineup. Collect basketballs Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, and Magic Johnson. Hidden. What's up? Hidden over here. Literally hidden by the VHS and this sign. Look around the corner, dude. A whole slew of uh -huh. sealed games. Dude. Sealed. Sealed. Madden 22. And look. Just hidden back here. Oh, a bunch of sealed games. Sorry, you're out. What? Now, unfortunately, they're nothing that we need, but they are sealed games at the flea market. First, first sighting. It's garbage! My favorite booth at this particular flea market, the Cotton Shed, is coming up here pretty soon. It's owned, ran by my guy Chet, and he's always like, hey, if you see stuff, give me a ring, I can give you a deal. I'm like, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Let's talk about it now. So this is what I'm talking about. We haven't even made it over to this side yet. Look, 60 more booths all through there. Well, good. What? what? Because all we got is that shirt so far. It's, it's too empty. <laughs> Gotta fill this empty. thing up. All right, I found a very uneventful flip. Need for speed the run. It's in great shape. It is. It is complete. The disc, look, the disc looks great. This looks good. Uh, it's selling anywhere from like ten to twelve bucks. Okay. It's five. We got. Sometimes you gotta make. You just gotta make things happen, man. And we're making it happen. This is the start to a little bit of a flip. Gives us five bucks towards our shirt. Let's continue. You know, let's go. We made it to Chet's booth. I found it. It's here. Look. Games. 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 Movies. Usually some strategy guides over here. Look at this old Pepsi sign. All right, we're gonna dig in. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got in here. Got some DuckTales, VHS. I told you, he's got the stuff that we like. Okay, so we're going through these games and I found some. I Here, let's, can I reenact? Yeah, sure. Okay, so it was like, was it here? And it went like, and it fell, dude. You're finding stuff back there. I am. I just pulled this out from behind State the tree. What else the is there? What else is there? Is there anything else? Oh. Whoa. Harvest. What? Let's go. I think that's is there it. anything else? That's it. Okay, so let's talk through this. These are, you literally finding them back there. These are, dude, Harvest Moon complete. Five for 20 bucks. That's four dollars. We got this one. We got. Oh, I don't want, Here, I don't want I'm gonna to hold again. on to that. We got. Uh, how do you? Is it? Is it Pokin? Uh, po no, po I don't know. Po po Pokin, Pokin, Pokin. Guys, please help us. We don't know. Oh we're just, we're just, we're lamos. Crash, Robotech Invasion. These are all like ten to fifteen dollars each. Another ten dollar game. I feel like Skate Three Complete is decent too. Uh, editor, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> but these were literally hiding back here. Let's see if you can get it back there like that. About $60 in value for 25 for 20 bucks. Chet, your booth is great. Cotton Shed, come to Chet's booth. What else is back here? Gotta love some old school old NBA. School stuff, now, yeah. these, it's gonna sound crazy guys, these sell so well in the store. Any of the Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Oh, well. Oh, the Christmas one. My wife wants to watch that one, I'm sure. To grandmother's house. Okay. Did you ever watch any of the Mary Kate movies? Uh, just a few, yeah. That was a classic. We watched that one all the time. During Christmas, my sisters loved that one. I, I'm not gonna lie, I liked it. It was good. Tony ate my brownie. Mine's in his mouth. Do you have any more? Ooh, I know. One of our friends loves him some Mom Pa Kettle. I have Carrie, no idea who that is. Carrie loves a Mod Pod kettle. It's really? So oh, weird. Oh gosh. No, no. Gosh, classic. Classic. Oh, 
freaking rocket man. Tyler, again, again with your booth, and again with you. Dude, find you a better person to make this and print this out. It's so pixely. You look ratchet, bro. Oh my God, it's bad. Is your, ooh, you do have a game. You do have Mario Kart. You don't want nobody to steal that. It's wrapped up all good luck. All right, okay, okay. I see you, Star Wars booth. So many Star Wars toys, okay. I wanna try these. But I bet they're eight or ten dollars. They're either or. Eight dollars. I know my crappy <laughs> figure figure market. I know it. I, you know what's crazy about that? I actually have that exact same alarm clock. Really? I got it at a flea market in Heber Springs. Huh. How much are all these? Twenty bucks. So these again go back to the mid '90s, '94, '98. This is '98, and they're just like, unfortunately, guys, there's just not a market for them. They're not worth hardly anything and they sit at flea markets to die. Ooh, that's actually dope. Look at this Pokemon lunchbox from 1998. Okay, that's a, definitely a second gen. Ooh, that's cool. Look at the Ric Flair back there. So this is usually a pretty cool booth. They have some pretty rad items up in their uh, glass cabinet. A lot of cups. I saw a ton yeah. over here too. Yeah, all of these. I don't want those, but 92. I'll take a whole set, please. Did you have any uh, relatives or grandmas or anything that had the Welch's jars, these? Oh yeah. Like, no, we're not just using these for the for the jar, for the the jam. Oh, we're right. using these to sip our milk out of. Which is All great right? though. I mean, it's kid size, oh, fits yeah. in small hands. They still make these like they used to. It's still plastic now. I don't know how I walked by them. What? That Gengar is absolutely insane. How much is it? 140. So it's just like a little mini rug? Yeah. Whoa. Got a Yoshi egg over here. Look at these. Hello, kids. This one's on yeah. sale for 90. Thank you. Joa would be dying right now for this. That is so sick. Surprisingly, these Instinct dolls sell like instantly in the store. Let's see, fifteen. How much is how much is Lance back there? Twenty. Hey, at least it's exactly at least it's exactly what it was back in Kmart in the what two thousand. Lance for twenty. I would probably put him around twenty five. So gonna pass today, Lance. Sorry, man. Those are awesome. How much? Ah, Fifty. Fifty. Dude, you can dress him up all different, like. And he's firm. They're firm. They know what yeah, they got. They know what they, they know have. exactly what they got. I don't think I've ever seen these before. These are 1993. It's the whole crew. Look, look on the back of it. Oh yeah. Look, it's all of them. You can have the set for 150. This is a booth I always walk into and I look for a good bit. Yeah. But the prices just quite aren't there. I mean, it's 20 bucks. It sells for like 18 to 20. So, you know, same thing for Super Mario 3D World, which the, uh, the Wii U is next on my list to have my kid be introduced to. Yeah. He has been playing Wii, Mario Galaxy like crazy, but 15, it sells for like 13 to 15 bucks. So cool to see this stuff, but in terms of like, you know, you can go to GameStop and get it for that, not a flea market. My boy down there getting low, trying to find them games. Yeah, you know, find them behind a, a shelving yeah. unit. If you, you can find them well, there, yeah. yeah, it's like you got to kind of look everywhere now. It's like we're finding hidden games. You don't know where you're going to find games. So we got a bunch of decent games over here, all around five bucks a piece. That's about what they sell for. So we're going to pass on these as well. All right, so it was a slow start to this flea market. We got another one we're about to go to, but Hidden games. Yeah, man. Hidden games, value. Yeah. There's value in there. We had what, 60 to $70 in value for 20. Got some Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen uh, VHS, the shirt. Time to go on to the next um, flea market right next door. And then we're headed to a convention. Stay tuned for all the bids. Hey.